well arrived well arrived peeps today is wednesday we finally got our reset in eu as well however there is something more interesting than than today's reset and that is the fact that we have gotten the news the possible news the speculation that tomorrow tomorrow is when the alpha of dragonflight is going to go live so this has been reported a few days ago uh, we have yet to see if it has been confirmed it blizzard hasn't said anything yet in the meantime we have gotten a, a handful new um i guess leaked screenshots of the alpha so perhaps this makes it more likely that something's gonna happen tomorrow on thursday what is also interesting is that when the alpha eventually one day uh, when the alpha goes live for those who who have not been to i guess up to date with how this works uh, when when the beta is out usually the beta is the entire game you know you get basically everything that's going to be available at launch is usually going to be in the beta over time perhaps a few things are going to be missing of course like dialogue cutscenes etc etc but the general uh, game is going to be available to everyone the alpha is different the alpha is usually going to to start slowly you know it's going to start uh, up to for example level 62 maybe give you a single zone and then there's going to be a new build which is going to increase the uh, the level to level 64 for yet another build for maybe more dungeons available for example parts of the story uh, of each uh, zone become available and then you get to level 66 level 68 and eventually you get the complete version which eventually translates into the beta right so don't expect just in case you you aren't you know used to the alpha don't expect that just because if if tomorrow the alpha goes live then immediately we get the entirety of dragonflight available to testing you know if there isn't going to be a max level for example perhaps there's not going to be several systems are not going to be implemented that's expected for an alpha of course what's not expected is that usually an alpha comes out seven to nine months before the release of an expansion meanwhile this alpha would come out five months before a release of an expansion so definitely uh, even if we start slow in the alpha we will have to accelerate we will have to speed up the the process of the alpha uh, definitely faster than what we usually get for for an alpha given how, how late we are currently in our release schedule for dragonflight now as a pause in between talking about this uh, this news we have my vaults that i need to open i have been exceptionally lazy on my paladin this week so i'm gonna pretend this vault doesn't even exist because it's not gonna give me anything yeah uh, unfortunate but um not very good so we're gonna skip this and pretend nothing happened and then we're gonna back to my shaman my shaman has most things i want i still every time i look at this i, I don't really have any preference in what i'm getting besides any 285 item level piece of gear from from the raid i have gotten quite a few in recent times uh so i'm not expecting too much now as i go over to the vault of my shaman there was also another thing being pointed out by blizzard related to the news of um, of dragonflight which was the customization options for the drug tier so blizzard showed us a bunch of different color combinations you know a bunch of different models the head model the bust models of the, for the drug tier as well as the full body models and the other piece of news which is that drug tier are going to have a body slider so a body build a body mass slider so one of the one of the major i guess complaints of the drug tier was that they were all lanklets they were all skinny they weren't really very imposing very muscular buff like you would expect a dragon to be so now they have announced that you will be able to have a, a slider for changing the body the physique of your of your drug tier which is cool i still am not too big of a fan even even the more muscular build i still think that should have been the default you know default muscular and then one side is skinny the other side is like swole super buff but whatever whatever I'm, I'm still gonna be okay with it especially when you play more i guess more delicate specs if you're playing warlock if you're playing mage priest you don't really need a super swole character of course we don't quite know how the only drug tier uh, class at the moment uh, playable the the evoker for dragonflight plays like but still it looks like a pseudo caster we will see eventually one day when blizzard will decide to make uh, all classes available 
to, to the drug tier how the, the 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 specs will look while playing on a dragon kin dragon human style character now on to my shaman vault um well well hello again my friend we meet we meet again i guess this is the only believable option of a necklace um i guess i could sim this very fast i'm not sure i'm, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna win because it doesn't have a primary stat so even if it has higher item level it lacks um it lacks intellect so i don't think this increasing stat is gonna do anything let's go and take a look so to compare let's go to questionably epic let's do a top gear import my gear and check the wall killer iris from the great vault and see what it says it is better by a grand total of 21 hps okay well you know i don't really need this for a socket kind of so i'm gonna take this one just in case it actually turns out to be good still for the moment it's unlikely i'm gonna play it because i don't have the socket that the other necklace has ah i don't even show s282 anyways so it was a, a waste of time anyways with this uh, great vault opening being done the other thing that i wanted to point out uh, about this uh, this reset of uh, uh, patch 9 point patch 9.2.5 yes that's correct is that number one number one we have apparently a new six month subscription mount where is it i just got it this morning i <laughs> i've been getting like three three mounts in a row from blizzard for free just because i subscribed like four months ago and i kept getting these these free mounts so this is the other six month subscription mount that you get for the six month subscription but more importantly i wanted to point out since we're getting closer to the alpha very very close remember remember that uh, blizzard doesn't give out keys doesn't give out uh, invites in the form of keys for alphas okay the the beta keys are called beta keys and not alpha keys because they only happen in the beta for the alpha for the alpha you're going to get your account manually unlocked by blizzard so there is no amount there is no amount of of giveaway there is no amount of raffle there is no amount of gift that can give you the alpha of dragonflight so no matter what you read on twitter for example don't believe people who claim to be able to give you to be able to uh, gift you or maybe for a small price even get something like an alpha key for dragonflight because it doesn't exist uh, you will be able eventually to get the keys for the beta but not for the alpha so beware beware of potential scammers since now the alpha is going live soon we will see if it's gonna be tomorrow but definitely that is also going to be followed by plenty of scam artists con artists trying to to lure people to fool people into into spending money for something that doesn't exist like an alpha key for the next expansion this being said uh i'm, I'm still i'm still thinking i'm still wondering and hoping about uh, the the new talent systems that we're gonna get we have gotten druid priest hunter rogue and death knight so it's five we are getting to we're getting close to the half the half mark of classes which i find interesting i find interesting because technically speaking as you're watching the video on wednesday tomorrow the alpha should be open if the alpha is open does it does it mean we're going to get all of the rest of the talents all of the rest of the available uh, talent trees for dragonflight all at the same time all at once if that were to be the case then the timeline that blizzard decided to reveal the talent trees seems very very weird right why would they why would they release only five previews five classes of talent previews only to then unload all of the rest the moment the alpha launches so i think it's gonna be other uh, of these two options option number one not all classes are going to be available at uh, release of the alpha it's just gonna be a handful of ones for example the five we have already seen plus maybe a couple more but the remaining ones won't have their talents fully fully available or option number two the alpha isn't out tomorrow and instead it's gonna be out later on which would be even worse i definitely don't hope to be right on this option there is of course the last the last possibility that uh, blizzard is just not caring about this and it's just gonna unload all of the remaining what se seven 
eight talent trees for classes all at once in which case cool i'm gonna have more content oh, okay okay it's not that good actually too much content all at once is not gonna be as good because it's gonna be much harder to to cover it all at once i would i would much rather uh, have a couple a couple of class talent trees for dragonflight every week you know that's a pretty good uh, spread of news for dragonflight but uh, i guess i guess we will have to see tomorrow what we're gonna come up with on thursday whether or not we're actually getting the alpha or if it was all a ruse now with this being said and this uh, and this somewhat disappointing weekly um, great vault opening the paladin was completely useless the shaman might be possibly perhaps not sure i'm gonna have to check more in detail about it but um with this being said we can stop for today thank you guys of course for watching the video and as usual a thank you to all of my patrons who are supporting me and even more importantly today and in this time as the alpha comes out we get more and more content we're gonna get much busier much busier with content much busier with reporting what's going on in the alpha so it's gonna be quite cool it's quite quite handy to see that i have the support of of my viewers as i continue uh, distributing content to everyone who wants to watch it also uh, as a further as a further support to the channel you can like and comment on the video itself as well as subscribing to the channel and further help can also happen by following me on twitter as well as of course supporting me by subscribing to my patreon which gives you access as usual to my discord server you can pop in whenever you want to ask some questions give some feedback or simply chat for a while i'm gonna be there with that being said thank you guys again see you guys soon and in the meantime oh my god I knew I knew it was wrong. I I needed to eat and then I had to start making videos and then I had to delay this more and more and now I'm like 7 hours late and I'm hungry but I also have to go to sleep now. Ah. Ah. <laughs>